What's up guys, Chris Carlin from Android Authority here to take a closer look at what I think are the seven best features of Android 7.0. Despite some of those other big features like split screen mode and the 72 new emoji getting all of the attention, I actually think some of the best features are the ones that are a little bit less obvious. So without further ado, let's take a look at the seven best features of Android 7.0 Nougat. And yes, I do say Nougat. The recent app's quick switcher is without a doubt my favorite Android 7.0 feature, surprisingly enough. In terms of raw awesomeness, it's right up there with the camera shortcut that you get with the hardware button on uh, Galaxy and Nexus phones. Once you use it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it, and you may find yourself trying to do it on phones that don't actually support it. Quick switching is actually really easy as well, just double tap the recent apps button to switch between your two most recent apps. It works in split screen mode as well, and it just saves a ton of time for anyone that's frequently hopping back and forth between a couple of apps. This is another less than jaw dropping feature, but it's probably the one that you're going to get the most use out of in Nougat. Samsung's TouchWiz and other manufacturer skins have had a short list of quick settings toggles at the top of the notification shade for quite some time, but until Nougat, this is the first time we've had it in stock Android. Even though you can easily pull that screen up with a two finger swipe, which you can also do in Nougat, having them always at the ready on top of your notifications list is way better. You can also customize their order to meet your specific needs as well. Bundled notifications also make a whole lot of sense. I mean, why would you want individual notifications from the same app when you can group them all together? This way you can expand them all for individual attention, or you can dismiss them all at once or one at a time. Nougat's quick reply feature also means that you can respond to select notifications right from the notification shade without having to open another app. The only problem with quick reply is that it's not supported by every app just yet. Another brilliant but rather obvious Nougat feature is putting all of the most important information in the settings menu right there on the front page. So you don't need to go into a sub-menu now to see what Wi-Fi network you're connected to or if Bluetooth is connected. You can also see how much internal storage is taken up, how much of your data allowance you've used, your average RAM usage, how many apps you've got installed, and how much longer your battery is expected to last, all at a casual glance whenever you open the settings. It may not hit you in the face, but it's actually a really great idea. Oddly enough, rebooting your phone is also one of my favourite Nougat features. If you make the switch to file encryption or pick up one of the new Nexuses, which will have it by default, you can get all the way to your lock screen with a still encrypted device. This means you can pick up incoming notifications, calls, alarms and that kind of thing, but your private data is still secure. Meanwhile, by adding just-in-time compilation to Nougat's Android runtime means your phone will reboot a lot faster without that painfully slow optimizing apps process you have to suffer through with Marshmallow. Just-in-time compilation also means that your apps can be updated faster, they require less storage, and they use less RAM. That's not bad. If you share anywhere near as many links, files and photos as I do, and you have your favourite apps for doing that, then being able to pin your favourite apps to the top of the Android share picker is a dream come true. Again, it's one of those features that would never make it onto advertising if Google ever really advertised Android in the first place, but it's one of those great little ideas that make a huge difference on the daily for anyone that uses them. Finally, I wanted to give some props to customization in Nougat. Of course, Android has always been the most customizable mobile OS, but there's always been more features available in third-party skins, custom ROMs, and third-party launches than there has been in vanilla Android. But over the last few releases, we've seen more and more of those features getting baked into stock Android. Following on from fingerprint support, battery savers, and granular app permissions, Nougat now adds a DPI changer to switch up the size of on-screen content, lets you define how important notifications from individual apps are, lets you whitelist apps even when in do not disturb mode, and even lets you cut off internet access for apps running in the background. Plus you've got customizable quick settings and a bunch of other little tweaks and options in the system UI tuner. It's an awesome amount of fine-grained control and I absolutely love it. So there's my seven favorite Android 7.0 features, but what are yours? Hit those comments to share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that like button if you're loving Nougat and want to see more videos like this one. Till next time guys, keep it locked to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.